Hey, this is Cherie King, your wellness advocate, and I want to welcome you to this video where today we're going to be talking about vitamin D, okay? Um, now, a lot of people know that they need vitamin D. They know it's important to have that, but they don't really understand why, okay? So before I get into some of the best sources of vitamin D, first, let me just give a little backdrop information on why it's such an important vitamin to have. Well, vitamin D is important for bone health for the most part, okay? Um, a lot of people who are vitamin D deficient end up with rickets, especially young children. Um, they can end up with rickets in their legs, um, you know, where it's difficult to walk or they have pain. Um, my youngest son, unfortunately, was on the brink of developing rickets when he was very, very young. And thankfully, we caught it in time, got him supplemented, got him out in the sun, did everything we could do, and now he's a big, strapping, healthy 15-year-old boy. But anyway, um, so it helps with bone growth, bone health. It regulates the calcium, okay, that your body takes in from various sources. And not only for bone health, but it also helps with liver health and kidney health as well. Okay, so now that we've gotten that covered, how do you get it? Especially if you're like me. Now, I live in Washington State, and we all know the stereotype, oh, it rains all the time in Washington, right? Well, I won't say it rains all the time. Like today, we have a beautiful sunny day out. But I would say that our rainy overcast days totally outshadow our sunny days, okay? So what was someone who lives in a climate where they don't get a lot of sun or maybe someone who just doesn't get out a whole lot? What are other ways that you can get your vitamin D? Well, a few ways that you can get it. As you can see pictured behind me, um, now the best sources of vitamin D, and sorry vegans and vegetarians, but it is what it is. So some of the best sources that you can get it from are seafood, okay? You can get it from uh, things like uh, wild caught fish, like mackerel and things like that. You can also get it from various dairy products. Now, from what I've researched, they say that it's best if the dairy is unpasteurized because pasteurization takes away the natural ability of the dairy product to help your body with the vitamin D. But and when they fortify it, it's not the best, okay? Um, so they say it should be unpasteurized, grass come from grass-fed cows and things like that. Um, but we all know that there's also taboo around, you know, unpasteurized milk and dairy products because some people say that it's unsafe to drink it or to consume it. So you kind of have to make that call yourself. I know a lot of people are into drinking raw milk and eating cheese made from raw milk and things like that. So I'll let you make that call. But at least let it be organic. If nothing else, let it be hormone-free from grass-fed cows and organic, if nothing else, okay? Um, another source that uh, you can get it from is fish oils, uh, cod liver oils, and things like that. Um, as well as eggs, okay? And again, you want to try to make sure that they're organic and things like that, okay? Now, for you vegans and vegetarians, unfortunately, there aren't as many sources of vitamin D available to you, but there are a few, okay? Of course, the sunlight, all right? But if that's not an option or if that's not enough, then you can also get it from fortified foods, you know, vitamin D fortified foods and, and beverages. Um, you can get it from, they say mushrooms, okay, but I, I read something that was kind of conflicting with that information saying that, you know, there's vitamin D2 and there's vitamin D3 and that vitamin D3 was more superior to vitamin D2. But then someone else said that vitamin D2 is just as good, you know, you can you still benefit and get the benefits of it and all that. So, of course, that's that thing where, you know, the experts can't agree, like I always talk about on my blog. So that is an option for you, um, as well as supplementation, okay, um, taking either straight up vitamin D supplements or a multivitamin that has a, you know, high amount of vitamin D in that, okay? Um, speaking of which, you know, the supplement that I personally use happens to have 1,000 IUs of vitamin D3, of vitamin D3, 
three blend. Um, I call it liquid sunshine in a bottle. <laughs> okay, so if you want to learn more about that, you can go on ahead and click the link in the description below this video. Um, and if you happen to be looking at this video from my blog or somewhere other than YouTube, then it'll be somewhere below the video as well. Okay, so and just so you know, um, if you have a lot of muscle spasms, you know, all the time, if you find that you're having weak, achy muscles or just bone pain in general, then those may be some indications that you need to get some vitamin D3 supplementation or, you know, look into those, sub, uh, those sources that I mentioned previously. Okay, so that's my video. Um, I do have a blog post. I'll post that link below as well. If you're not on the blog, if you're somewhere other than there, then you can go on ahead and click the link to go to my blog to read a little bit more in depth okay i'd like to keep my videos short for the most part if i can um so you can go over to my blog if you prefer to read more information about it okay so that's my video hopefully you got something from it and if you did please like the video and then share it with others who may benefit from this information as well okay so until next time bye for now